One of the reasons I really like foraging for wild lobster mushrooms is that they are so versatile to cook with in the kitchen. There are not many mushrooms as crisp and dense as lobster mushrooms. They make great burgers or patties, whatever you want to call it. The point is, this lobster mushroom recipe is delicious and easy. Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. I'm glad you're here. After picking and cleaning and trimming the lobster mushrooms, the key for this recipe is to use the youngest ones that are the most dense and crispy because we're going to start off by grating the mushrooms into little pieces. There are not many mushrooms you can grate like this, but lobster mushrooms are special. With the ones I'm using that I picked in Oregon, the white inside fungus is a Russula brevipus, the short-stemmed Russula. The outside fungus, the orange part, is a parasite fungus, the Hypomyces lactiflorum. It makes a hard crust, kind of like a lobster, that covers over all the gills and parts of the russula. You can see how the hypomyces is on the outside. Look at that, the beautiful hypomyces on the outside. And then it's russula inside. The hypomyces isn't just in the crust. It goes all the way through the russula mushroom. And the russula DNA starts disappearing from the outside towards the middle. So when you find a young one that's just newly emerged, it's got a lot of russula in it. And then when you find the older ones, there are more hypomyces all the way through. What does this do when the DNA from the hypomyces goes inside of the russula? Well, the research shows that the hypomyces actually changes the lipids or the fats that are in the russula. So it changes the character of what you're going to eat. All right, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Smells good, it just smells like a mushroom. It does not smell all shrimpy. It's the old lobsters that smell like fish. They'll draw flies. That's how much like fish they smell, or like lobsters. Now look at that. It's gorgeous. Don't worry about grating the mushrooms perfectly. It all works out in the end. The important part is to mix in some salt and let the mushrooms sit for 10 to 15 minutes. It's just like when you salt vegetables. I'm going to work that in and then let this sit for about 10 minutes so that the salt brings the moisture out of all that. After the 10 or 15 minutes are up, squeeze out as much water from the mushrooms as you can. I know this seems messy, but it's less mess than mixing stuff into hamburger meat, that's for sure. Don't throw that water out either. It's good for soup or making an omelet or for cooking greens in. Just use it within a day or two, no more than that. Now we're ready to make the patties. I add wild chives that I pick in the winter and early spring and put in the freezer. I add some green onion tops too, along with black pepper and paprika. Then I add eggs and flour as a binder. For this batch, I use two medium eggs and a yolk and a little less than a quarter cup of flour. You can see what sort of consistency I'm aiming for, so you'll have to adjust depending on how many lobster mushrooms you have. Then it's time to make the patties. They seem fragile, but they really are not. I'm using butter in my skillet. Whatever oil you like will work fine too, a little or a lot, whatever you want. The key is, is to cook the patties thoroughly because the lobster mushrooms do need to be cooked enough so that the pieces in the center of the patty are soft. That's why I put the lid on so more heat stays in the pan. I did have the heat a little too high on the first side. I turned it down for doing the other side. You can cut one in half to check to see how the lobster mushroom pieces are doing. You can see here that they're cooked all the way through. They've changed color and they're soft. The three mushrooms I started off with made four patties. These patties are good with burger buns or with a garlic sauce or I like them just plain. If you have extra, do not keep them in the refrigerator for more than a day or two. Just put them in the freezer and then reheat when you want to eat them. And here's my dinner with the lobster mushroom burgers. Are these any good? Well, here's a live taste review. That was so good. That will get you out looking for lobster mushrooms all through the season. Does it taste like lobster? It has a lobster consistency, but it does not taste like lobster. It tastes like a light-flavored mushroom. I hope you can find some lobster mushrooms yourself. 
and I hope things are going well at your place. Thanks for watching. Bye!